Good morning, assholes. Today was weird. Sonic Central is happening in three minutes. They announced it yesterday, which uh, my biscuits were fucking totally burnt because I didn't know that they were going to do it at all this year. And if they were, I would have expected them to do it at the end of the month when all the Frontiers news was over. But you know what? I'm down. I'm excited to see what they do. I want to see if uh, if we get any new remasters. I don't know if we will. Yeah, it's possible. Because uh, you never know with these guys. But I'm sure we're going to get more Frontiers news. Maybe a trailer. I would love a trailer if they could pop one of those bad boys out. That would really make my day. Um, Origins. We're probably going to get uh, some more Origins gameplay. Because uh, that comes out in a couple weeks. So that will be cool. Uh, you know, I can't really see anything for the movie. Maybe merchandise. Maybe more action figures. Maybe. And more Sonic merch. Of course. We'll get new action figures, ones that don't suck. I think the movie ones are pretty good. I didn't buy them, but I, I did see um, that they had full articulation on them. And I was like, well, that's new. I haven't seen that since I was a kid. Because I used to get those ones that were, like, fucking ridiculously articulated. Like, oh, my God. It, it looked weird because he had so many, like, pins in his legs and shit because he could move so much. But I didn't care when I was a kid. I just liked it. I was like, wow, I got a song edge if you're cool. I think I had the Riders. I think I had the Riders Sonic. They dude, they used to pump those suckers out like no tomorrow back then, but not anymore. I think this is gonna be my slogan from now on when we do videos. Good morning, assholes. I think that I think that's a better fit for my kind of videos. Cause that's what you guys are, a bunch of bunch of assholes. But I still love you guys. I I'm an asshole too, so I think we can even it out with assholishness on both sides we're assholes but we're, we're sweethearts oh god what the fuck was that all right sega come on don't fail me buddy What the fuck did they do? There we go. The games that defined generation. What the fuck was that? The games that started it all. Jesus Christ. A new collection including the definitive editions of four iconic Sonic titles. Nice. Okay, so this is the trailer. We already saw this. The Green Hill animation looks good. I like this music, man. Yeah, I think we've played these games already. Wow, I can play Sonic. Sweet, dude. I've been waiting to do that all these years. It's kind of weird how they haven't implemented that yet. Yeah, we've already played his Tails. We don't need to play as him anymore. Knuckle? Knuckles from Flapjack? new modes cool yeah I, I the island thing looks really cool classic mode anniversary mode yep man this song brings me back dude I I used to play the uh, classic edition or not classic edition I think classic collection on the DS and this song would play on the fucking fucking speak on the main menu. And I like this remix. And it's from Sonic Jam 2. So. Really good shit. Cool. Yep, June 23rd. Fully remastered and redefined. Why do I need an island Sonic camera on my in my thing? Good. This month on Whatever. I'm not gonna complain. It's it's not even a big deal. Celebrate Sonic Central in Sonic We've seen this later on Roblox. Why are they using the Unleashed music? That's not fair. 
introducing the new chemical plant where Eggman has kidnapped the electric chow cool. and is using their oh, wait, to whoa. power up Metal Sonic. Exclusively for Sonic Central. Unlock Amy Chow. Nice, dude. We could get an Amy Omo Chow. And reprogram Metal Sonic. Join the fight against Eggman on June 11th. Cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. This summer, unlock Sonic Mobile. Cool. Cool. Characters cool. from Sonic the Hedgehog 2 in both Sonic Forces and Sonic Dash. I tried playing those games. I could play like I, I played it for a little bit, but I just couldn't get into it. It's not the endless running with just tapping and holding down is just not my thing. And welcome, Sir Percival. In Sonic More Dash mobile games. Also in Sonic Dash Plus on I they make a lot of money from these, I heard. So Sega's smart for Netflix keeping that. Animated series, Yo! Time, is coming soon. Here is a Look at that footage in the background. Yes! Yes! Fans watching Sonic Central. I'm wait. I gotta calm down. I'm a grown ass man. It's fucking Sonic. Holy shit. Look at that goofy ass. Shadow, nice. What? <laughs> That's all they're showing? <laughs> the, what the hell was that? Oh man. Next, please all right. the voice of Sonic. Oh, they are showing Sonic stuff movie. about the Sonic the movie. Sneak peek of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on Blu-ray and digital. I don't Let's go. I already watched it. This movie is pretty fire. It, uh, like I said before, if they just cut those two scenes, man, I would have made this like one of the top movies on my list. But it drag the wedding scene drags on for too long. It takes you out of the plot. And there's a lot of deleted scenes. I was like, you could have put this in instead of the wedding scene, or not instead of it, but cut down the wedding scene and put the scene in where like <laughs> where Wade is like um. Sorry, I got distracted by Agent Stone being a stone again. Um, shit, what was I saying? Fucking the fuck, man! I, I lost fucking track of what I was saying. I'm gonna watch the video and go, "What a fucking dipshit!" Right now or soon, similar. Oh yeah, the the scene with Wade at the at the coffee shop where he calls Tom while they're with gun this and it explains why gun shows up that scene would have made more sense in the movie that rather than gun just rolling up is an all new but for the most part the movie was pretty good i just i hope in the next one they do um more rock music and use live and learn like a remix version at the end of the movie that would be really cool available this fall from jack specific Level up your Xbox gaming experience with this yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog no, I don't need controller that. and quick charge. That D pad looks like vibration. shit, man. I don't know summer, why they started using that D pad. Introduces beautiful new art. Handmade Pretty goofy. Are a celebration Those are really nice. As he races towards the future. Wish I could draw like that. And Sonic the Hedgehog capsule collection. Featuring energetic designs inspired by the high octane speedster himself. <laughs> I'm gonna get a backpack with knuckles on it. Hell yeah! First for all platforms on June 21st. This is still going. I thought this was over. I thought Fall Guys died out like a long time ago. Come play as Knuckles, Sonic, and Tails. Goes to show you how in touch I am with the Fall Guys community. Okay. To celebrate Sonic Frontiers, we are excited to present Prologue. a sneak peek of a new animated special featuring Knuckles what? taking place before the events of the game. We hope you enjoy this exclusive first look. Oh, this isn't even animated animated. They were... Man. This is like a comic book animation. We look forward to sharing the... <laughs> What are up with these sneak peeks? The sneak peeks are not even sneak peeks, they're just characters standing. <laughs> what is this music? Oh no. It's like as if they know. The gameplay reveal, ooh. Okay.
Um, okay, that's cool. The boss battle. I don't. I didn't see any popping during that. That was cool. Uh, maybe some Sonic tubers will probably Sonic dissect it. Want to see more of Sonic Frontiers? Then be sure to visit IGN.com right now and all June long, because Sonic Frontiers is the IGN first cover story. You can watch the world exclusive gameplay reveal right now. Yeah. As well as the first ever hands on preview, with more coming later in the month, including interviews with the Sonic Frontiers development team and more. You gotta go fast to IGN. <laughs> Sonic Frontiers is on its Great. way. There's more details to come, so be sure to follow us on the official social channels in the video description below. Thank you for tuning in to Sonic Central. Is there anything else? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, what? <laughs> oh my god. This was like, this wasn't even warranted. They literally could have just not done this and nothing would have changed in anything. The... The Frontiers gameplay we got in this was a boss battle. The sneak peek we got from Prime was Shadow. The sneak peek animation for Prologue was Knuckles standing in front of the Master Emerald. We see a bunch of merchandise. Like, Oh my god. I give these guys too much hope, man. I, I, like, I sit here and I'm excited. I'm like, what are we going to see, man? Then they, then they pull this shit on me. I don't, I don't get it, man. <laughs> They're so secretive. They got so many things they want to hide. And that wasn't even that long. It's only like... Where's that? Yeah, it was like 20... Not even 20 minutes. Jeez. So, I mean, we got the full Origins kind of trailer, but I mean, we already saw that stuff. Some mobile game stuff. I mean, this is cool, and I'm glad we got to see more from the show, but I was expecting some voice lines or something from the characters. The animation's still really good, though. I'm, I'm really happy with what they've been doing over there, but... Yeah, it's they really haven't... They didn't really show that much. Just a bunch of merch. You can watch the concert again. Fall Guys. Dude, you guys got like five months. Why didn't you just show it now? And I was expecting a story trailer from this. This is what I was expecting from the Sonic Frontiers thing they showed. But they just keep showing gameplay. And that's cool and all. But I, I want to see like... I was I really wanted to see what the story was. That's what I was looking forward to today. But you know what? It is what it is. It's all right. It's not the end of the world. Let me see. Is IGN doing their discussion? Maybe I can squeeze some more because we really didn't get anything. Yeah, they did it. Let's go ahead and watch this because I feel like that was not enough for this video. So let's go ahead and get some. IGN intake on this. Let's go ahead and pop that sucker to HD here and let her load. I I a lot in 30 years. He's been a high speed 2D platformer, an Olympic athlete, a respectable kart racing enthusiast, a fighter, a TV star, and a Hollywood blockbuster movie star as well. Yeah, he is. done open world. And Sonic Frontiers. He's never done open world. You are right. Enough to be one of the first people outside of Sonic Team to go Don't say that, dude. You're gonna get bombarded on Twitter. <laughs> just say, if you're worried about how the blue blur will fare in this unfamiliar genre, well, I think Crush 40 probably put it best. Open your heart. It's gonna be all right. That's reassuring. Thank you, IGN. Thank you for telling me that. The first thing that struck me about Sonic Frontiers was how unique and somber and serene it was right from the outset. After flying into this is a like a pre-review. Sonic finds himself separated from his friends and all alone on an isolated island, 
with nothing but an AI voice guiding him to collect the Chaos Emerald. There's no one for Sonic to bounce quips off of, no energetic Crush 40 soundtrack, just wide open fields as far as the eye can see. There's an air of mystery in Sonic Frontiers, and it's a vibe that's driven home even further by the beautiful yet minimalist piano melodies that accompany Sonic. How come IGN is giving us more story details than Sega? That's okay. That looked this different. This is a very intentional choice. I asked Sonic Team Head Takashi Izuka to describe how the tone of Sonic Frontiers differs from previous Sonic games, and he said, Past games in the Sonic series have taken different tones depending on their stories and themes. This time, these mysterious islands are the game's major setting. That's why our artists have worked hard to create a mysterious mood. Of course, the hmm. big new change in Sonic Frontiers is the shift from purely linear levels to a huge open world where Sonic can freely run in any direction. But Sonic Team doesn't like to use the term open world to describe Sonic Frontiers gameplay. Instead, they call it open zone. Style as being open zone. Open yeah. world games like Zelda or other AAA games fundamentally have RPG or adventure worlds. For Sonic, the core here is a 3D action game. Our basic idea was to have that take place in an open space. What sets Sonic Frontiers apart is this different approach to an open game world. Having played Sonic hmm. Frontiers for about four hours, it's easy to see what Izuka-san means. Sonic for four Frontiers hours? Zone design is very different from any other open world I've played. Lucky it's bastard. A playground. Every few feet, there's a bumper spring that bounces you like a pinball between five other bumpers before putting you on one of the many grindable rail tracks. Or a speed ramp that sets you on a completely different path leading to some other collectible or reward. Or a line of rings that you can light speed dash into. Essentially, they've taken that That's not <laughs> Sonic level having multiple paths that eventually loop back around to the main one and applied that to these giant non-linear open zones. One thing that has to hmm. be noted is that very few of these elements are built into the environmental design. Meaning that rails, platforms, boost rings, and so on are just inexplicably floating in the air all around which isn't totally unusual for a sonic game but yeah see he even he had a little in particular because confusion about that pop in of these objects and the otherwise very naturalistic art style of course it's worth emphasizing that this gameplay and the version that i played were from an early build but this is definitely an area that i would hope to see improvement in the final version okay so everything they've shown is from an early build I saw somebody find the footage is from like January. These are very simple, requiring you to orient the statue the Don't way, don't really take that as hard fact, but tiles, or use Sonic's new side loop ability to draw circles around that's cool. objects in the environment to interact with them. The best ones though are the races against the clock. I was, you know what? And there was Seagi, Seagi the Seagull guys the confirmed. The there he goes again. Ooh, Seagi. I was really pissed off on the first reveal. But the more I think about it, the more I just go, it doesn't, it's not a big deal. I can't control what they do over there. We can't. And we shouldn't try to. The only thing we can do is just not buy the games if we don't like them. But I, to me, I feel like there's enough here to warrant my purchase. I think I would enjoy this. I mean, for I hate forces, but sometimes I do pick it up still and and want to play. And I can see myself playing this, so I can't complain too much. I mean, there's obviously some things you can complain about, like the pop in, but I made a video when the combat video came out, and I was back and forward during the video, and I was just really peeved. But the more I think about it, the more I'm just like, I think it's going to be okay. I got a more positive outlook on it. You can either parry the blades and knock them away right before they hit you, or you can even use Sonic's side loop ability to encircle the enemy, which causes the shell to go flying upwards. Cool. Defeating yeah, we already saw that. Reward you with EXP that you can use to purchase new skills from a skill tree, which yep. gives Sonic Frontiers a really nice feeling of power progression, even in just the relatively. I love that shade of blue, man. That blue on Sonic looks really good. I don't even notice the small quills. And it's super satisfying. Because I'm just looking at that blue. The blue is what I had a problem with. The quills I don't really care about. It's the, it was the color blue they used. This looks good though. I like that blue. 
These are near Shadow of the Colossus-esque in their scale, with one in particular against a beast named Osura, requiring Sonic to bait the Titan to slam the ground. I'm a little confused on why they would show proto uh, prototype footage, but... an ambitious boss battle, far beyond it's anything right. I've seen in the Sonic series to date, but it's also the part of the game that needs the most work. Far too often, I'd fly off the boss's arm without knowing why, or I'd get to the top and for some reason lack the momentum needed to actually reach the head. Uh oh. Let's hunt down and defeat these bosses in order to collect. Uh oh. Which open up oh, that's fucking cool. In your stages, done in the style of previous Sonic games. I thought you could only run up nice mix the old certain designed walls. These classic levels each come with a handful of optional goals, like being the level under a certain time. Collecting all cool. the rings and so on, with each goal rewarding you with a vault key, which are needed to unlock the coveted chaos emeralds. Coveted chaos emeralds. Sonic Frontiers is an exciting new step forward for the Sonic series into uncharted territory, and based on my time with it, Sonic Team seems to have hit upon a winning formula. There's certainly cool. still work to be done before it's released during the holiday season. There's a lot of distracting pop-in, there's a fair amount of bugs mm -hmm. still left to be squashed, and the big boss fights could do with some tweaking. But ultimately, my time with this early build answered the one question I had on my mind. Will Sonic's one-of-a-kind gameplay translate into an open world? The answer is a resounding absolutely. Thanks for watching, and tune into IGN for more. That's reassuring, I like to hear that. IGN first. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN. But, I mean, take it with a grain of salt. Remember, take it with a grain of salt because everybody's got their own personal opinions on how things should play and so on and so forth. So if we, you know, once we get a hold of the game, you know, there's going to be a bunch of differing opinions. So some might like this game and some might not. Um, but I, he did bring up a lot of good things and I'm glad about that. Brought up the pop-in, which was one of our main issues. He brought up uh, the gameplay. He said the gameplay was good. Just bugs and stuff. So he said that he played, and the footage that's being shown to us is a prototype build. Why they would want to show a prototype build off, I don't know. But they did. So we can't change that. I, <laughs> again, I, it's weird marketing, what they're doing. But you know what? If they iron out everything by release, if everything is solid enough, I think I can enjoy the game because what the open worldness to it looks good. Again, what I'm really looking for is the cyberspace levels and the other open zones because if it's open zone, that means there's more zones. So, as cool as the Breath of the Wild like world looks. I want to see other environments still, but if this is a prototype build, they probably are still working on the other ones and this one, but this was probably the most done environment they had. So they recorded it and had it ready to go. Because I mean, again, for these kind of events, they got to get all this stuff together really early. So I wouldn't be surprised if Sega did all this footage in January, sent it over, and everybody was editing the clips, getting everything ready, so it would make sense, yeah, but it's, it's, it's one of those things where we're going to have to see it closer to release and when it releases. I mean, YouTubers and Sonic Tubers can sit around and we can complain about it, we can praise it, we can do whatever we want, but we have not played it. We're only going off of something, so people in comment sections get really mad at people who make the videos, and you guys got to remember, man, people, when they watch videos, are very reactionary to it, but after they watch the video and make the video, and they sit on it for like a day or two, they go, ah, uh, you know, I was kind of being bitchy for no reason. It happens a lot, so take it with a grain of salt when people are being really bitchy because people will get over it. Especially the the thing about Sonic Tubers is Sonic Tubers will complain a lot and still buy the game. Don't get me wrong, they the game will be bought. Because we can't help ourselves. We love the brand enough to where we will give them money. But it 
there might there has to come a point where it becomes unexcusable if the game looks like this when it releases but i don't think it will especially if this was an earlier build they probably got a lot of this fixed i hope it's hard to say anything and don't just don't rag on people who get mad at the game if you like the game that's fine you guys can like the game and not be a dickhead to other people it's okay and you can hate the game and not be a dickhead to other people. It's it's the same thing. The game is the game. We're getting what we get. And I think the best thing you can do is be positive enough about it. Because you can't change it. And I, I know a lot of us think we have the power to change it by saying, like, delay the game and do it. They don't care. They they don't want to listen to us. They're not. They're hearing feedback from the fan base. It's not like the Sonic movie situation where everybody and their freaking grandma were complaining about it. This is totally different. This is a game, and the only people complaining about it are pretty much us. And then other gamers are looking at it and going, "Huh, sucks to be a Sonic fan right now." But I, again, you gotta have. You gotta have faith, man. I feel like they changed a lot from Forces. And... I'm excited to see it. A lot of people were getting mad about the animations, and... I get a lot of the complaints, because animation really helps your gameplay experience, but... They could have added more since this build, or edited some. But the animations they have are pretty good. Not all of them. Trust me, not all of them. A lot of them are really goofy looking, but... I won't. I probably won't even notice. To be honest, the only animation I've ever had a problem with was in Sonic Forces. When you go to the 2D section and you don't have boost, he does, like a, he does a stupid jog. But it looks in this as if... The animations are solid enough. And they could change some stuff before release, so. I don't know. Okay, well, you guys got two reactions out of this freaking video, you fucking assholes. <laughs> no, but I love you guys. I love Mr. Bluey Hedgy boy over here. He's been through some shit and back, but we'll see how it turns out. That Sonic Central was shit. I don't know what they were thinking doing that. That was not. That wasn't even like warranted. We weren't asking for it. <laughs> we we <laughs> they didn't really show us anything inside. I think the only good thing that they showed today was the shadow reveal from Prime. That's like the only big thing from that. That's all I took away from it, at least. In another boss battle, but yeah. And IGN, IGN really, you know what, got to give these guys credit where it's due. A lot of people hate on IGN because of the past, but you guys got to remember, that was like, we're, we're with a whole new group of people in here probably, or some people who are still there, but the guy reviewing the game probably has no hatred towards Sonic. He, pro he gave a pretty good analysis on the game. He said, you know, I know you guys are kind of skeptical. I get it. But the gameplay is good. They had some bugs. It was an earlier or earlier prototype that I played. So, and he's saying we'll see, and that's pretty much what we're all saying. We'll see. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, if more good Sonic news comes out, I'll make another video with the reaction. I got more videos coming this month, so stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in whatever shitty video I produce next.